There you go. I've been new about this surgery. Y'all always tag me in it every time these videos go viral. <laughs> this has been around for years. It's just finally legal in the U.S. It uh, it started in Asia. And like every other plastic surgery trend. True, true. So let's get into it where you can break your legs and get taller. To speak with you if you have concerns. So that's the main reason why I came back to him for a second time. Okay, do you mind pulling up your shorts? Oh, wow, he's 5'10 now. Mm -hmm. Amazing, yes. Okay. Now straighten out the leg, this one. Straighten it out if you can. Perfect. Good, now bend it. Amazing. Five, so I gained about three inches in 2016. And right now, I'm at 5'8". And I decided that I was ready for the second time. So that's why we're doing the... Feel good, like one week out from surgery feels pretty good. I can do okay. So, a lot of y'all might not know. Let me break it down because I've been new about, about this. Oh, shit. where you go? There you go. Uh, let me let me break it down because I've been new about this surgery. Okay, I'm damn near an expert at this point. So, so what they what they do is that you can get a maximum of six inches in length, okay? But you got to do the first three inches and then you can come back for the rest after. Now, the only bad thing is. You may or may not be in a wheelchair for like six months to a year. So, and no, they do not have a way of lengthening your arms. So you're going to have long legs, your torso is going to stay the same, and your arms going to stay the same. Would you do it? Yes. If I knew, let me tell you something. If I knew that I would be able to like work out the same deadlift like I do, be able to swim, pop like it, drop it, like if all my flexibility come back and I'm not walking like a robot, I would do it. So how much research do you need? Like, do you need to see people like what they look like in a couple of years before you consider it? See, I've been, I've been, I've been researching it for years. <laughs> <laughs> I've been normal about this since I was 12. So like, it, it's not much I need to see. Um, I just know basically I got to devote two years pretty much to recovery. Mm. Yeah. So um, it's 170,000. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, listen, but let me tell you something. I'm five, six. If you telling me I can be six feet, <laughs> I don't know y'all. I already told y'all. If I become six feet, you're going to see my real personality. You're going to see my real, all that shit, how Love Jones be saying I'm toxic. No, I'm going to be future <laughs> out this motherfucker. Oh, my God. You're going to be in hell. Oh shit, I need a whole new friend group. I'm getting a whole new career. What? Everything. People that thought they knew me, you don't make the cut. Like, I'm sorry. I'm six feet. Oh, you got, I'm six feet. You got, I'm six feet. <laughs> so is height kind of for men what like a BBL is for women? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Except here's the difference, right? We still go through trends of like thick being the thing and then thin being in, right? Mm -hmm. Short dudes ain't never been short dudes ain't been popular since Jesus. <laughs> However, in Hollywood, being short is preferred. Okay, tell me why. I don't know. Like I feel like especially in into like if you're dancing, you could you you could flip around more. You know what I mean? Like you're closest to the ground, so it's easier to do stunts. Like you could fit in certain spaces easier. I don't know, like, you, I don't know. I feel like it's easier for camera tricks when you're, like, shorter. Like, you know, most men in entertainment are not really tall for some that, reason. That is true. Most actors, like, they're not. Yeah, the average actor is the tallest, maybe 5'8". That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Hey, listen, I'm not lying. I mean, I'm not arguing with you. Mara said as long as the middle leg has, like, that's <laughs> <laughs> yo i mean honestly like i experienced a guy that was my height i told you about this and it was good and i couldn't believe it i was like what's your height i don't know how tall you are i'm your height i'm five six 
Oh, we would actually have tall kids. <laughs> I, I'm not getting her pregnant. I didn't say oh. that. <laughs> well, you got to put that. Uh-uh, because you got to make that disclaimer every time we do Storm After Dark. Because <laughs> it sounds like I'm recruiting you. And it won't be me. I ain't not gonna, like, all right. <laughs> no, but we would actually have tall kids. Yeah, my dad is like 6'2 or 6'1. My mom is my height, I think. And my brothers, my my 14-year-old brother is 6'2. My 25-year-old brother is 6'1. My brothers are tall, like on my mom and my dad's side. So those two brothers are on my mom's side. And on my dad's side, one of my other brothers is six feet. And then the other one is probably like 5'10". And 5'6 is a nice height for a woman. You're you're taller than an average woman. Really? Mm-hmm. Average woman is between 5'3 and 5'4". Oh. Yeah. 5'6 five, five, and up, you're tall for a woman. To, you, and yeah. then with heels, oh, you're looking like a supermodel. <laughs> Okay, so how much for an egg? Do, what oh, you want, 80K? You want 80K, 90K, 100K? How much for an egg? My eggs are priceless. Only access trust. Everybody got a price. <laughs> That's true. I, I, let me think about it. <laughs> I got things to do. I got oh things my to God, do. That just reminded me of New York when she was like, I need my eggs cracked. <laughs> <laughs> She is straightforward. I'm not even mad. I need my name dropped. I said, oh, Lord, child, Jesus. I am not your bed maiden. I am not your maid. Honestly, dang, it had to be something with the fertility because who would not have gotten her, given her a baby? You know what I mean? Uh, it's storm show. Hey, it's storm show.